We're here today with Corey from SEK Surebond. We love bringing in our partners and sponsors that I firmly believe in, that I have a history with. For a really long time, even before I started my own design and build company, I've been confident in using SEK Surebond products. One of the main reasons for me is their poly sweep sand is the best damn sand on the market. It truly is. <laughs> but Corey, tell us a little bit about why, you know, why we can say it's the best damn sand on the market. I think the reason is no matter what, we have to read the instructions on the bag. But some of these other sands aren't set up for success if we don't read the instructions or if we don't know what we're working with, right? So what are guys doing out there? Why is it the number one callback for these guys? I think a lot of people just fail to read the directions like you're talking about. I think uh, a lot of people are using a product that's just based on a price side of things and and looking for that cheaper finish at the end of the project, right? It's the last thing that's got to be done. So in turn, they're they're trying to cut their cut their dollars back that they're spending. And so trying to stay cheaper and, and not going with a product that might be more expensive because it's going to cost them from that aspect. But the biggest cost in that is is by using a product that's going to fail, you're going to have to go back to that job. Now it's going to cost you double or triple to fix that project. So right, Even more, exactly. So, And I always say you're, you're not paying for the sand your clients are. And I like how you say you're getting to the end of the job. I didn't even think of that. Like Guys' budgets might be out on the job. They're going to go grab the cheapest thing that they can. Or another thing that guys do is they just stop at the local wholesaler or even they just grab a random bag off the shelf and they think it's the same directions as the last product that they use but that's not necessarily the case some contractors that have been in this business for 15 20 30 years you know they have the same mindset on polymeric sand some of them don't even choose to use polymeric sand but those that are using it have the same mindset that it's a it's it's pol- it's a polymeric sand and it all goes in the same way that there's no difference whether i'm using poly sweep or i'm using brand x uh, and in turn, what happens is they go out and they, they do their installation aspect. And then what happens is a month later or two months later, their contract or their homeowners calling them and telling them like, hey, my sand is all over the place or whatnot. So they're having failures from that aspect of, of just an installation side of not reading the directions like you had or mentioned. Or educating themselves on the product. Uh, or, you know, reaching out and calling. You know, we get a lot of phone calls about failed polymeric sand. And, you know, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. We get a lot of rain up there. So... There's washouts and stuff like that, and then go onto a job site, and you can kind of educate with them, you know, their steps that they took when they installed it. But the biggest biggest failure, usually with polymeric sand, um, when when we get a call on when I get a call on poly sweep, I think of it as a training opportunity more or less than anything to educate these contractors and even homeowners from that aspect that might be there as well. Um, but the, the biggest thing I see is underwatering. Um, you know, they get that top layer in there and it gets crusted and they're good to go they collect a check and they go home uh and then two months later you know it's hotter than it's not outside and their sand is lifting and peeling out of the joints and and it automatically becomes a failure on the sand side um and as you talk with them you learn a little bit more about how that installation process went in underwatering is usually the biggest failure of polymeric sand yeah so educating yourselves Educating yourselves as a business owner almost so you can educate your crew because I think that's what happens a lot of times too is there's a guy who's been doing this like myself for 15, 20 years or whatever and we know all the things there is to know about polymeric sand but we're not, we might not be out in the field that day. Our foreman might be, I'll be on the, out in the field that day with some random bag of sand, right? Right, right. And that's, that is a key. You know? So a lot of the owners might know about the sands um, and know how they're installed but again when you're you know, in this industry obviously – Sometimes you have a lot of turnover. Sometimes you don't have a lot of turnover. But going from, you know, brand X to brand Y, there's a change in that whole application process. And if you're not educating yourself or if you're not reaching out to your reps uh, to get educated on these products, then you're you're not doing yourself any any just service. Yeah, I so. like how you say that. If you're not reaching out to your reps or educating yourself on the projects, so a couple on the products. So a couple ways you can do that. Uh, one of the ways we have partnered with SEK Sherbon is we have polymeric sand training tutorials on our website. So if you're if you're a member of the herd, you can view the polymeric sand training videos. And I also like to use the term having a rep in your back pocket. So Corey is in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, tell us the states that you take care of up there. So I cover Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Um, it's a huge territory. There's yeah. a lot of windshield time. Uh, my phone, you know, is always on. It's always available for use from that aspect. But uh, most of the most of the major business is probably in the metropolitan cities uh, from that aspect. Yeah. So if anyone's in the Pacific Northwest, 
Corey is the SEK Sherbon rep in your back pocket. And another reason I like to partner with them is that all of their reps across the country are going to be right there in your back pocket because they're in it for the education side, not even necessarily to sell their product, but just to educate you on why their product is, is superior than the other ones on the market and why you should be using SEK Sherbon. But the biggest reason to me is that all these reps are willing to come out to your site, their boots on the ground. Every time I go into using a new product, the first time I cleaned and sealed anything, I had SEK Sherbon wrap up there. The first time I used a wide joint polymeric stand, I've been doing this for 25 years, I still brought my my rep in Wisconsin out on site to me with me because he knows more about, about the product than I do. So I always say as much as I'm a resource for our members, these reps are another resource for our members. And that's what we try to be. You know, I mean, the biggest thing for us is is education wise to our contractors, to, even to our dealers from that aspect. And and if we can if we can be on a job site with you, we're going to help you further your knowledge so much more than via a phone call. Um, and not that a phone call doesn't work, but but having us out there doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It's that you're actually doing something right, right? You're, you're, you're taking your business to the next level uh, with education from that side. Exactly. Of and it even looks good to your clients. I feel when I bring my reps from different manufacturers out on site, I think my client knows that I'm, I'm in this for the right. I'm going to make their project be a success. Right? And I think you guys are out there to set up everybody for success on their projects and not have Polymeric Stand be the number one callback. If anyone needs to get a hold of you, Corey, they can reach out to you on Instagram, or how are they doing that? Yeah, yeah. You can you can hit me up on Instagram. Uh, you guys have that. It's S-E-K Sherbon underscore Corey there. Um, or you can call our home office, and they can, they can dial you in. Most of the manufacturers in the Pacific Northwest or the dealers, they have my contact information. Yeah, perfect. I love it. So educate yourself so you can educate your crew on polymeric sand and not have it be the number one callback in your company. Thank you so much, Corey. We'll let you get back to H&A 2024 here, maybe pick up some new clients and get them in the, headed in the right direction with their sand. We'll work on it. Thanks, Dan. Thank you so much.